Welcome back to the channel family. Today we're going to go over an issue that I'm having with my Audi Q7. Uh, my model in the year is 2017, uh, but I believe it applies 2017 on up. Um, so I'm getting a weird ticking noise uh, when I either open the door or, or disable the alarm. Um, and I think I hear it sometimes driving down the road periodically, but I'm not quite sure there. But I definitely hear it when I either open the door or unlock it. So let's see if it'll uh, replicate itself. So I don't know if you can hear that, but it's coming from the grill area. Again, it's every time you touch the door handle or unlock it. Uh, so I got to figure out what that is. My uh, initial guess would be it's something to do with the active shutter uh, for the grill and radiator. Um, so what happens is after about five, 10 minutes of driving, especially at freeway speeds, I get uh, a drivetrain malfunction um, warning. So, and then it goes into limp mode, which prevents the vehicle from going over 3,000 RPMs. And, you know, I can't do that. I can't drive it under 3,000 RPMs. It's just not feasible. So I'm gonna have to uh, figure out what's wrong with this problem and get it fixed. So I'm gonna drive now and it should pop on any minute. So we'll keep an eye on it so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'll just keep the camera on and running should see the warning light pop on here now that I'm getting on the freeway. So I'm not sure if it has anything to do with uh, engine speed. Uh, like right now I could go over 3000 RPM as you can see there, it pulls good, uh, gets in the boost. But obviously if I can't get over 3000 RPM when it goes into limp mode, uh, then I'm not getting any, any boost. So I have a huge loss of power. So again, it should pop on here shortly. So there it is. So it says drive system malfunction, please contact service. And as you see, we get this warning light here with the exclamation point inside the triangle. Uh, the check engine light's been on because that's uh, already in memory that this issue is happening. So that's locked into the, the memory uh, for uh, fault codes. Maybe a issue with uh, the active air shutter at the radiator. Uh, I don't think it's actuating properly. I don't know whether the actuator is broken, the drive motor is broken, or or what it may be, but I went ahead and ordered a new uh, active air shutter along with a motor servo assembly. So I'm gonna swap that out. However, just looking at the vehicle initially, uh, when I was gonna replace it a few days ago, it looks like it's quite a, a big job. Looks like there's a lot of pieces that have to come off the front end. So I'm not gonna walk everyone through how to take the front end apart on the Audi. To get to this active air shutter, what I'll probably do is just do a time lapse. Um, I'm going to just replace those, get that solved, and I can eliminate that as a problem. If there's more issues from there, uh, I'll simply keep diagnosing it until we get all the issues resolved with the Audi. Uh, so let's get it back to the garage. Um, I'm going to head back there now and I'll cut back to you guys uh, probably when I have all the cameras set up for the time lapse and I start taking the front end apart. So we got the parts from Audi. It's an air dampener. If you're not familiar, it's, the, uh, it's like an active air shutter or air dampener on the grill. Uh, that limits the air that flows through the grill um, and radiator so that when the airflow isn't needed to go through for the cooling system um, it'll actually divert the air around the vehicle 
uh, to give it better fuel economy, essentially, um, to be more aerodynamic. Um, otherwise, it acts as a big air dam as the air gathers up under the hood through the um, radiator. So, but more parts, more problems, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and replace it because the actuator isn't working is what my uh, suspicion is um, in my diagnosis of it. Um, it looks like it's not actuating. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and address that today by essentially taking the whole front end apart. So I'm not gonna go over it all in video. I'm just gonna um, set up a time-lapse. I have a time-lapse camera right there. So that's set up and we're gonna go ahead and um, just time-lapse it really, uh, just so you can see the process because it's pretty long. I'm anticipating about the whole day essentially. Uh, enjoy the video. And remember, if you haven't already, go ahead and um, subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and hit that notification bell to be notified of any of my episodes. And um, hit that like button, you know? Tap into the channel. We're trying to do, you know, some car content, uh, lifestyle content, that sort of thing. Of course, it's really gravitated around the cars, but um, yeah, tap in and just, you know, follow me. I'm trying to do my thing, and I do really appreciate the support. So let's jump right into it, all right? part you can see the front end is completely off saying this is a long hard job um, actually hasn't been so bad not as bad as I thought um, I tried it once at night and gave up of course I didn't start it till nearly midnight so uh, it was just I it ended up being more than I thought uh, I could handle that night so I gave up uh, but we're at it again in the day uh, but again running against the clock because that's always how I do it I'm always running last minute just in time on everything um, I'm heading out to Reno tomorrow. I have to be ready to pick up the car trailer so I can take the Camaro with me. Um, and then we're gonna, instead of driving the Camaro, we're gonna take the Audi uh, so we could be in comfort. Um, and I'm gonna pick up a U-Haul trailer to haul the um, Camaro. So I gotta pick that up at uh, eight in the morning. So I gotta be ready for that. So again, last minute, uh, the evening before I actually take off to go to Reno at eight in the morning. Um, I got the whole front end of the Audi apart. So we'll see how that goes. Um, we'll try to get it back together tonight, get it on a test drive. Hopefully it uh, clears all my check engine lights and my, my drivability problem where it goes into limp mode. And if I'm gonna be driving to Reno, I want to take care of this now because I'm gonna be going up the pass. Pulling a trailer, I'm gonna obviously need some higher RPM so I can get down to that torque and horsepower in order to get up the hill. So um that's about a three and a half hour drive for us from the bay area so want to make sure the audi's running top notch um so this is what we're replacing today this after active air shutter here um it doesn't actually actuate uh so i confirmed that that wasn't working and i'm assuming that's what's giving us the drivability problem with um going into limp mode is that this actuator is not actually opening and closing this damper um, properly. So I think the actuator's out. Uh, I went ahead and got the whole um, air dampener, um, active air shutter assembly from Audi, factory part. Uh, I don't want to have to do this job again, so I made sure I got the factory part there so we don't run into any problems with it not functioning properly because I don't want to do this again. Um, so we're going to swap that out real quick. Uh, and then clear the check engine light, take it for a test drive, and hopefully it runs uh, without any issues and doesn't go into limp mode because that's getting annoying. Uh, I can't get into boost because uh, I can't get over 3,000 RPM, so I barely hit boost ever anymore. Uh, and it's been that way for a while. I'm sorry I didn't go over it in full detail on everything, but it just seemed like it was going to take a long time. 
And I didn't want to fumble around with cameras and, and um, actually recording each step because of the time constraints that I'm under. So hopefully you guys understand. I just did a quick time lapse. Uh, if you guys need any more detail on how to reach this active air shutter on the Audi Q7, you could just hit me up in comments if you have any um, specific questions. But uh, just check out the time lapse. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember, we're trying to get feedback uh, from the uh, viewers and subscribers just to see who's watching because uh, I'm always curious on who's actually watching these uh, videos. I know there's some people out there watching. I see the analytics, uh, but it's good to put a name and a face with uh, my viewers. You know, I'm just trying to um, build this channel for you guys, keep you guys entertained. Um, so hopefully you like what you saw today. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Remember, tap into the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. All right, so we're going to jump right back into it. And I'm going to go ahead and replace the active air shutter. So this is our part here. From Audi. Uh, it comes with the actuator here. Here's your connection. Right there. So that's the actuator assembly. The damper shutters here. Uh, and so we're going to put this bad boy over here. To replace that old busted up no good one. And hopefully that will solve our problem and uh the audio start running right again all right so i'm gonna get off this handheld camera and get right back to it with the time lapse and get this uh knocked out so we could go test drive it before we have to pick that car trailer up and head to another state so um that video will be coming up too so look out for that if not i might have even posted it before this one um but yeah, check it out. We're going to check out Hot August Nights in Reno. So we're going to head up there for three days, take the Camaro just for the cruises and stuff. I'm not going to drag race it or anything because it's not tuned. Let's get back to it. We got the Audi apart. It is not drivable at the moment, and we only have a matter of hours to get it done, uh, put back together, test it, and um, put it back on the road and tow a trailer uh, to Nevada So from the Bay Area. So... It's going to be quite a test drive, so we'll see how it goes. All right, so let me jump back into it. All right, y'all, well, I got the damper out. So this is the active air shutter here, the old one. It's got the um, actuator built in. I could have just replaced the actuator, but I went ahead and got the whole assembly, the shutter and the actuator all in one from Audi. Uh, just didn't want to do all this work and then replace the actuator and then the shutter has an issue too. So I just went ahead and got it, the whole assembly. I'm gonna replace the whole uh, active air damper assembly. You see the parts that had to come off to make it happen. Bumper, bumper cover, uh, grill, uh, inner, field, uh, inner fender wells, um, all the plastic pieces under the hood, the headlights, both sides, um, the rock shield on the bottom, whole bunch of things had to come off the front end. Obviously you can see it there uh, in order to get just this one part off so um, keep in mind it's a lot of work it took about about an hour and a half two hours not as long as I thought it would uh, now we're ready to go back in with the new part so we're gonna take that and put it here uh, so I'm gonna just do it on the, the I'm just gonna do it on the time lapse so bear with me uh, and we'll get this done all right so I'll get back with you guys when it's in, hopefully for a test drive. All right then. family uh we got the audi back together just in time last night and i'm about to head over and pick up this car trailer at u-haul um they didn't have any near me uh so i had to go 
to Redwood City. So I gotta head over to Bay to the other side on the peninsula to pick up this trailer. So we're gonna head over there now, get this trailer, uh, load up the Camaro and then hit the road. Uh, hopefully, um, I don't have any check engine lights, so I cleared the codes, everything. Hopefully this, uh, this airflow damper or active air shutter, whatever you wanna call it, um, Hopefully it solved the problem and I don't have any drivability problems uh, such as the uh, drivetrain malfunction warning light that came on. Uh, and then also I would have um, the drivability problem with the, um, with the vehicle going in the limp mode and not allowing me to go over 3000 RPM. Because I'm gonna need to go over 3000 RPM to climb the summits uh, in order to get to Reno because we're going from Cali to Reno. So we got to climb the Sierras um, with a car trailer. So um, Definitely don't want it to go in limp mode uh, up there in the high country It's gonna be a big test drive considering. I just got the work done last night only hours ago um, So uh, hopefully we have no issues and the part fixed the problem, but we'll see all right I'm gonna head over to pick up this car trailer now well, all right, family, we're here at U-Haul trying to pick up this trailer. So far, no check engine light, no limp mode, truck's running great. Uh, so um, I'm going to pick up this trailer, then we're going to go load the Camaro up and um, start heading over to Reno. Go ahead and uh, hit that like button if you like um, my content. And then also, um, I want to say I see you guys are, are watching the videos, but um, a lot of you guys aren't subscribed yet. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that notification bell too, so you don't miss my content. Um, yeah, because I see a lot of people are watching, but they're not subscribed. Come on, help a small YouTuber out. You know, I need those uh, subscribes. I need those likes. I need those comments below. Uh, it's the only way the algorithm, the machine itself, is going to pick me up in YouTube and start spreading my channel out to a bigger audience. Um, it's just the only way it's going to work. So I'm, I'm looking for support from my viewers. Um, hopefully you guys that are watching can support me and um, just hit that subscribe button. Um, it helps out a lot. And if you have a moment, go ahead and comment below. Um, you know, I'm looking for whatever feedback you guys have so I could tailor the channel to my audience. All right. So without further ado, let me go in here and get this trailer uh, and then get the car loaded up so I can get on the road.